So today I'm going to be fishing with a very exciting variant of a modern dry fly. Um, it's based on a fly called a jingler, which is a, an old borders pattern, uh, but it's modified uh, significantly the way I tie it, and it's a very successful fly, uh, as hopefully I'll demonstrate uh, in a little while on the stream. And it's a soft hackle dry. And the way this is tied is a very special way. Um, there is a genetic dry fly, a size 18 genetic dry fly cape tied with the partridge hackle at the front. Of course, it's been well known for eons that soft hackled flies are very, very effective. And we'll come to the reason why in a minute. The traditionally soft hackled flies are associated with spider patterns as used by the great W.C. Stewart over a hundred years ago on the border rivers in Scotland and the reasons the flies are so successful these are wet flies of course spiders are wet flies the reason these flies are very successful is they have a lot of inherent movement in the partridge hackle and the same is for the dry flies and you can see the high CDC wing catches the the, the flies here and moves them around and these very soft hackles which are actually bound in position by the underlying genetic cape are held in place and they waft in the current and are extremely attractive extremely attractive to the trout and grayling for that matter this has been one of my most successful patterns for several seasons now and it's one of my competition secrets it's a great fly and I'll demonstrate how to tie it later and how to fish it right now. See, this is a beautiful wild trout. This is wild fishing. And I'll just wet my hands before I handle this fish. And we see how a soft hackle dry I was talking about earlier. Nicely in the scissors. Beautiful wild brown trout in very good condition. And oops, I hooked him again. Sorry about that, my friend. I'll slip him straight back. Oops. A little bit shallow for you there, my friend. Try the water. So we can see how effective the soft hackle dry flies are. These fish are 
very heavily fished for and quite wise of uh, fly fishers but if you can get good presentation with the fly as I've just demonstrated you can still catch these beautiful wild brown trout. fish are very keen, beautiful little wild trout, don't anybody ever say small isn't beautiful, if trout are small and wild like this, in my mind they're as beautiful as any large stock fish, wonderful little beautiful wild trout, beautifully spotted, nice red spots, beautifully coloured, gorgeous fish, slip it straight back. There you go, my friend. So these are the soft hackle uh, dry flies, examples of the soft hackle dry flies that I'm going to show you and that I've been fishing on the river uh, with a great deal of success. Um, this fly is basically based on an old borders pattern called a jingler, um, though it's been modified uh, in this tie significantly because I include a wing and a traditional jingler is basically a, a partridge and yellow fished dry. So the materials that I'll need to tie um, this fly are some hooks. I use a TMCO TMC 103BLs size 17. Uh, fantastic hooks these, great dry fly hook, one of my favourites. Um, a genetic dry fly hackle, this is a size 16 to 18 medium done. Um, some decent CDC, a the canard. And the body material for the fly, I'm going to use some hazier uh, substitute and of course the most important part of all, which I almost missed, is the soft hackle. Um, this is partridge. I'm using partridge. I like partridge, one of my favourite um, 
materials, beautifully, moves beautifully in the water, lots of natural movement and of course many of the traditional spider patterns are tied with partridge and this uh, soft hack or dry fly does the same. Fantastic material. And that's it. So very little materials are needed and I'll show you how to tie the fly right now. So I put a Tiemco 103BL, this is size 17. It's one of my favorite dry fly hooks. I use these hooks for most of the dry flies that I, they're very good hooks, exceptionally well tempered and they hold fish very well. Uh, for those of you still using barbed hooks, I highly recommend that you uh, move to a barbless pattern. Right, I'm gonna take, catch in the thread very quickly and take it to the back of the fly. and trim off the excess. At this point I'll tie in a tail if I feel like it, this is optional. Um, I'll either use a few fibres of the partridge for a tail, like this, I'll just take a few partridge or maybe uh, a few particles of C a few fibres of CDC, either is fine. It just adds a bit of movement to the fly. Um, I don't think tails actually affect flies whatsoever. That's a very small, nice slim tail. And then I'll add in the body material. Because the, um, this flies, this particular John's Jingler is representing a large dark olive. I've got a bit of large dark olive dubbing. You can use hairs here, um, whatever is your preferred body dubbing. Any body dubbing works. Pale hairs here is one of my favorite body dubbings and that works very well with this fly. So wind on the body, not too much material. And there we, the, the body of the fly is already, all, almost finished. We don't have to trim off any fibers that are a little too long at this stage. And now we'll add, add the CDC wing. So I just use a single feather on this fly. Simply catch the feather in two or three loose turns, pull the fly to the desired length to give the wing effect. When we've got the wing effect, a few more turns. Bring the CDC forward and then a few tight turns to secure that, that wing will never come out. As we can see, just clean up a bit of fluff. And we've got already the profile of the fly is looking nicely like the natural insect. So trim off that near the eye. Now at this point, I'm just gonna push the fly, push the area, push the material back a little and the proportion on this fly are about perfect. Now we're going to tie in the genetic hackle. So this is a size 16 to 18 medium done hackle, but you can use any genetic hackle. And this is important because it gives those soft fibers the support that they need. So the first turn I'll take behind the wing and then I'll keep Coming forward, nice tight turns. I want to get this quite dense. And then when it's quite far forward, I'll tie that off with a few turns and trim that off. So now it looks like a pretty little, a pretty little fly. If I tied, finish the fly at this point, tie a whip finish, um, I would get a beautiful done impression that would catch many, many fish. But as I mentioned earlier, the jingle is a rather special fly and it will catch more than many flies. And so this is the secret part of the jingler. It's adding the soft hackle, those all important fibers which are gonna move in the current. So we take a nice piece of partridge. This is Hungarian partridge. You can use any partridge, of course. This has been dyed olive, but natural partridge is fine. It works just as well. And we're just gonna tease, tease back 
the fibers so I can catch it in on the thread and when I have a nice then catch these fi catch the partridge fibers in this is quite tricky uh, and there we go that's a fail so try again often takes two or three attempts it's quite a tricky effect to achieve to actually tie in and there we go that's tied in this time so take it back with a few turns and then we're going to wind this partridge hackle through the genetic dry fly hackle a few turns and when it's tied in a few turns I'm going to tie it off quite firmly pull it back so the eyes we don't go over the eye and then we can trim off the excess after trimming off the excess pull back and whip finish I'll take a few more turns to secure that so whip finish give that a good pull tighten everything up secure everything and as we see we've already got a nice effect we have all these soft hackles which are secured by the genetic hackle underneath and these hackles of course will move beautifully in the surface film and when these hackles move in the surface film it gives a fantastic impression of life and this is one of these one of the reasons that this is such a spectacularly successful dry fly. Of course, I haven't actually finished the fly. Um, to finish the fly, I will trim all the genetic hackles underneath. I'll leave the um, partridge hackles, the soft hackles, because of, as I keep mentioning, they give the beautiful appearance of life. So there we have a soft hackle dry fly, John's Jingler, a superb fly.